Hi, and welcome back to our video series on the CNU Shortel phone system. I'm Will White with ITS, and in this video, I'm going to talk about two of the best new features of the phone system, the ability to change your ringtone and to easily set speed dial numbers. Let's talk about ringtones first. So you actually have many different ringtone choices, although they're kind of the old school, uh, early 2000s cell phone style ringtones. Um, they're different for both internal and external callers, so you'll know if it's somebody at CNU or somebody from outside. And they're settable th either directly on the phone or through the software client, although I would recommend setting these on the phone because on the phone you can actually preview the ringtones and find out what they sound like. Let's set up our ringtone. To do so, you push the options key and you'll have to enter your voicemail password in. So to get to the ringtone, you use the arrow keys to scroll down to ringtone and press edit. You then have a list of all of the ringtones. As you can see, we can scroll through them. If you want to preview the ringtone, you use these internal and external buttons. As you'll see, the ringtones are different based on whether the caller is a CNU caller or someone from external phones. So watch what happens when I press internal or external. When you found the ringtone you want, all you have to do is press OK and the ringtone is set. Then you can just press exit to return to the main screen. So now that we've got our ringtone set up, let's talk a little bit about speed dial. So you can set up about five to six speed dials, depending on how many people you'll have on hold at any given time. And you'll want to start those on the bottom left and work your way up and then to the right. The top two to three buttons on the right side are reserved for placing calls on hold and taking them off. So if you occupy those with speed dials, you'll have a lot more trouble putting people on hold and taking them off of hold. Speed dial is actually more powerful than just merely calling someone. It also monitors that line's status. So if that person is in some sort of do not disturb state, and we'll talk about states in a later video, you will see a line through their speed dial indicator and the button will light up orange. If they're on the line, the button will light up red and you'll see uh, indication that they're on the line. Let's take a look at how that works. Okay, so the next option we're going to look at is setting up a speed dial number. To do that, we go back to options, and we enter our voicemail password in, and push OK. Then we scroll down until you see program buttons. Then press edit, and it will ask you to select which button that you want to program. Now, Shortel recommends that you do not program these two top right buttons. Doing so will make it much harder to put people on hold and take them off of hold. So they recommend starting with the bottom left, working your way up the left side, and then maybe using only the bottom one or two buttons on the right side. So as this is our first speed dial we're going to program, we're going to use the very bottom left. And you see what pops up says select function and you have call appearance or dial number. Call appearance is what you see on all of these buttons right now. It shows a phone on the hook if the line isn't being used, and if it is in use, it'll show it picked up, or if someone's on hold, it'll show another icon, and so on and so forth. We're going to change that to dial number. So we just scroll down and push the middle button there, and it asks what number we want to call on our speed dial. So I'm going to dial in the extension that I want to call, which is Daffy Duck at 8008, and I'm going to push Next. The next thing it asks us to do is enter a label. So it wants to know what we want to actually call the speed dial button. Now, this operates the same way as old style texting, where you see the letters on the bottom of the dial pad, and that's what you enter in. Press it multiple times to get a different letter. So we're going to do Daffy here. So we enter D. And notice a backspace button appears as soon as you start typing. So no worries if you mess up. And A. 
and F, F, Y. Then I'm going to push done. And notice that this bottom left button now turns to a triangle and says Daffy. I'm going to push exit to return back to my main screen and exit once more. Now this speed dial is more than just a simple speed dial. You see that it shows Daffy as available right now, and if I press it, it'll call him. But if Daffy's in a state where he doesn't want to be reached, we give it a second, it will actually show that I shouldn't be talking to Daffy at the moment. In addition, if Daffy's on the phone with someone else, let's put him back into the regular state here, and have Daffy call someone, it will actually show red and that Daffy has been picked up the phone and called somebody. So the advantage of having someone on your speed dial is you'll know if they're available right away. If you want to change a speed dial button, it's simple. Just go and repeat the process that we just showed you and the speed dial button will change. Thanks again for watching this video and if you need additional support for your phone, you can dial 757-594-7079 to reach our help desk or put a ticket in at help.cnu.edu. We hope you found this video useful and we'll watch our other videos. Thank you.